In this video, we'll be working an optimization problem where we have to minimize the sum. If you've not already done so, press pause to copy down these guidelines into your notes. When you're ready to continue, press play. The problem that we'll be doing is to find two positive integers whose product is 220 and whose sum is as small as possible. So our two numbers, let's use x and y, have to have a product of 220. So that means x times y is equal to 220. And the sum of our two numbers is as small as possible. So we need to minimize the sum. So our equation that we're going to be minimizing is s equals, I'm using s for sum, x plus y. All right, now what we want to do is use this equation from the first part of our problem to find uh, an expression for either x or y. I'm going to solve for y in terms of x. So I'll divide both sides by x. And it looks like y is equal to 220 divided by x. That expression then I'm going to sub into this primary equation. So my sum is x plus 220 divided by x. Now in order to uh, find a max or a min, I need to find the derivative of this expression and set it equal to 0. So I am going to rewrite this part of the expression with the exponent. So s is equal to x plus 220 times x to the negative 1. My derivative then is 1. Power rule says negative 1 times 220, so negative 220. And then reduce the exponent by 1, so x to the negative 2. Now, to set this equal to 0, I'm going to go ahead and write it back with a positive exponent. So my s prime is 1 minus 220 over x squared. If we set this equal to 0, I have 1 is equal to 220 over x squared. And that gives me x squared is equal to 220. Square root both sides. So x is equal to 2 root 55. Now normally we would put plus or minus on this one. But since I'm wanting two positive numbers, I'm just going to use the positive. So if you want the approximation on that, x is approximately equal to 14.832. And I'm going to box this in as my x value. And then to find the y value, I can come back up here. And I have y is equal to 220 divided by 2 root 55. And so my y value is 5 rationalized. Hundred and ten root fifty five 
over 55, which gives me a y value of 2 root 55 also. Now we can check ourselves. We have a graphing calculator. What we want to do is enter the expression that we're going to minimize, uh, but we need to use the one with the same variables. So enter this into our calculator. So x plus 20 divided by x and then look at the graph now it looks like our x value needs to be um, about 15 so I'm going to set my window my minimum I'm not going to have any negative x values or y values for that matter so let me just go ahead and use 0 as my minimum, and then, oh, 20. And we can go up by 2. And then I won't have any negative y values either, so let me set that at 0. And then, um, if x is about 15 and y is about 15, then and the sum is what we're looking at. Let me set my y max at 30 and see if we can get a picture of this. The scale of five. So now I'm getting just the very bottom of this. If I went a little higher, just to give you an idea of what the graph looks like, my y max I could set at 50. And we can use our calc, second calc, and find the minimum on this. We want to give a left bound, so we can choose our left bound there. And then our right bound will go on over. press enter and then we want to guess so we'll come back to about here for a guess and it looks like our minimum is 14.832 which is what we have for x and our y value is about 30 29.66